Hello everybody! Welcome to another fantastic evening of the Adventures of Steven, where tonight we are going to finish our run-through of the cave. That's right, the game that we started a couple weeks ago with uh, six, seven adventurers wandering into a cave to discover something intense and deep about them. I don't know. But uh, we're finishing it tonight, so we've done three characters doing the next three. We've already completed the adventurer as of last playthrough, and now we're going on to the twins and the scientist. So we're going to learn what the twins and the scientist are all about. I believe last we left our heroes, the twins were about to uh, go on their little story, which we were told was going to be a sad tale for the rest of us. So let's all tune in, have a good time with that. Let me do some alt-tabbing because things suck. Okay. All right, here we go. Game and we're live. Whoops, wrong button. Shoot fire, everybody, everything's falling apart. When you have to alt-tab, things break. Sounds a little echoey. <laughs> Sounds like it might be a little hot. Hold on. Let me get this calm down here. Let me know what you think. Mike might have been a little hot. Everything's actually a little hot. Oh, that's what it is. I figured it out, you guys. I figured it out. Someone, namely a two-year-old. It's hard at work messing with my messing with my knobs. <laughs> yeah. Z O M G, dork. Dude. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much for the sub. I'm really gonna need to update that so that, that doesn't that doesn't sing. First of all, I don't know why it just did two alerts. No clue. I have no clue why two things popped up. Second of all, I'm not entirely sure why it's still playing Christmas music. But you know what? Thanks. Thanks, man. You've been subscribed for four months. I totally appreciate it. You have no idea. Thank you for sending us your bucks, your Bezos bucks, whatever the devil kind of bucks you want to send. We truly appreciate it here at the Dorks. It's helping us keep the doors open. Keep the dorks flowing in. All right, what did we figure out here? Last we left our friendly, we had the we had these guys, because there was a sad tale. Was there something? Did we need to? I don't think we went down. Was there any way to go down here? Oh, a pile of bones. I feel like we're gonna need one of those. Let's go ahead and take it. <laughs> Dude, all the monkeys, yeah, buddy. Put them on a ship and see where they take us. I don't know if this is the right way or wrong way, but hey, can I, can I, that's twins. There we go. Got it. Trying again. So these twins evidently want to kill their parents. That's not okay. That's not okay. What does that do? Oh, maybe, okay. So maybe these folks have to go up here? I have no idea. Do I, I don't guess this, I feel like last time we played, this was just for bypassing everything. Okay, so these two people are pulling the switch. I don't know that that's going to do anything. Yeah, I have a bone. But I feel like it's for distracting the dog. While some other character does something else. Let's find out. Alright, let's get these people off of here. Let's see if we can go down this way. Doop doop doop. Now that was a pile of bones. Okay. Okay, so maybe we shouldn't have taken the twins all the way to the bottom. Maybe we should have opened that door first. Well, let's go back up and do that. Platforming adventure. I read a review of this game that described the, the jumping as floaty, as if that was some sort of negative. Y'all let me know if the volume sounds okay. Looks okay to me. Who's a taco? This isn't a taco, this is a bone. Which, if you go into Taco Bell, could be one and the same. I don't know. 
Alright, now let's open this. What? Shenanigans. Oh, that's... That's not cool. Almost made it. What the devil? Maybe I'm not meant to go this way. Or... No, I got a better idea. You guys come down here. Pull this. Oop. You go over here. Let's see if this gets me through. I don't want to fall down you there. You don't want to know the building permit hell I went through to build that thing down here. It does have walk-in closets. It's those small touches that make the difference when it comes time to put it on the market. <laughs> I love this cave. Oh, now we're going in. I think we're in the story. This is creepy now. Stupid mouse. All this stuff got creepy. Do, 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 do. We'll just keep going down. Let's explore. What's up here? Terribly sorry, loves. I can't let you go out and play with your friends until you've had your supper. Your mum's making your favorite. <laughs> Sausage and tater soup. That actually sounds delicious, and I would if like some, If you stay please. inside without a fuss, I'll buy you each another pony. So these kids are relatively spoiled. Getting a pony. Another pony, no less. What's this lady all about? Mummy. Quiet down. You don't want to disturb the dear twins. I think your dog would rather have some delicious dog food. Your father put it in the basement. Why would I eat tater? I don't know. I got a hammer. All right, let's remember where we put the where we put that thing. My computer makes all kinds of weird noises. What's over here? Faucet? What's anybody in there? All right. These twins have to make some trouble. We gotta find some. We gotta get rid of mommy and daddy somehow. Feels terrible. <laughs> hmm. Cellar door and dog food. Well, we can't bang it down. What could we knock it over with? Let's go back up. I don't think we saw everything that we needed to see. What's this way? Oh, is this the entrance? Yeah, it's the entrance. Okay. So let's keep going. Choo -boop. We'll go upstairs. Because Tater's taste tells tales of terrific times. Oh, tongue twisters. Wow, we can just keep going up. This a is a beautiful huge house. house in the cultural heart of Victorian London. Two loving and caring parents. What could children want more? Apparently, what they desire most is freedom. Freedom from bedtimes and chores. Freedom to run wild with no one to hold them back. We're about to see what happens when two adorable children snap. <laughs> it's very, very haunting. Who wrote this story? Dang, I need to get through these doors. Sturdy door. Had a cat. Eh. How do I get up there? Oh, wait. <laughs> I learned how to kill myself. That's good. So they're climb there's a ladder over there to get into that room. Let's see if we can figure that out. There's always got to be something you can do. All I've got is a hammer. A boy sends it a rooftop that you get trapped on. Maybe there is. Maybe there's a swimming pool on the roof. Yep, W.C. Mitchell's right. There could be a swimming pool on the roof, and we don't want to miss out on that. I'm running around with this hammer. How about this umbrella? Can I have it? Maybe the umbrella does a thing. What, is, what would an umbrella do? I wonder if I could jump off of something with it. Nope. <laughs> that did not do... 
anything. Alright. Rooftop swimming pool. I want a rooftop swimming pool. I also want summer, so it feels like I can use a Please rooftop swimming pool. Soup, loves. You might burn your delicate little hands. I think the dumbwaiter switch actually needs... I think your dog would rather have some delicious dog food. Your father put it in the basement. Alright, well there's my clue. Go to the basement. The problem is... I can't get in that cellar door. Because it needs the key. Okay, that's what that big thing on the wall is. So I need the key. How do I get down? Can't go. All right, we learned we can't we can't drop down from here, right? Let's see if we can get one of our other people to do this job for us. Keep on going down, down, down. Yeah, I gotta distract the dog somehow. Mm. Got another pile. I got another bone. Well, that's good. Means you don't have to carry the initial bone. Bloop, bloop. Everybody needs multiple bones. <laughs> I wonder if I can drop it. Quiet. Nope, you're just gonna keep yelling. Quit walking. Can I do something when the dog's barking that mom's not paying attention? Can I hit mom with a hammer? That sounds terrible. That sounds really terrible. Please don't touch the soup, my dears. I have all the ingredients just like you like them. Please stop barking. You know what oh, okay, happened to good. the last dog that barked too much. Would you two be dears and do fetch him his dog food? So she turns around. Please stop your barking. You know how much the twins hate that bark. Okay, just like, okay, so we don't. Would you two it's be not dears that. And do fetch him his dog food. Let's go find... What, what did I do? It's not the umbrella I need. Where did I leave the hammer? Left the hammer upstairs with Dad. Let's go see what I can do. I don't know why a hammer makes sense. I don't know that it does. <laughs> Oop, nope, don't want the femur. I want the hammer. Please stop your barking. You know how much the Oh, I did put bones in it. Barking. Would you two be dears and do fetch him his dog food? All right, so she's got I put Oh, <laughs> best not to touch the soup, my dear beautiful perfect twins. It's just the way you like it, and supper will be soon enough. I I know I need to feed the dog. So I've got a water faucet. I'm gonna feed the dog. So I put I put a bone in the soup. I don't know if that's good or bad or what. I can't get into the downstairs door. The dumbwaiter won't power on because it needs a battery. That's what. That's why it's not working. Like if you look at the numbers above the dumbwaiter when you pull the lever, they don't move. And the if you go to the very tippy tippy top. Perhaps instead of a pony, ah. I can buy you one of those new motor carriages. They don't startle as easily or die in unexplained barn fires. <laughs> ah. Let me in, Mom. Can I drop the hammer? Can I push the door open? Nope. Oh, can I pull it? Nope. I was gonna feel really stupid if that worked. 
So mom and dad's room is locked shut. Everything's locked shut. I need a battery to get to the basement. Somehow. What is that? I guess I can't. Going this way probably won't lead me up to. No, okay, yeah. We can't go that way. Alright. I don't know that this is going to do me any good. Really. So we're going to take the adventurer down here, too. Don't need that pile of bones. Turn Chuck into a battery. If Chuck was a potato, that might work. So there's really nothing I can do with the dog. The dog's pretty much doing nothing. Chuck the plant. Can I do something with Chuck the plant? Nope. Doesn't appear that I can do anything with Chuck. Empty fuse box. Means I need a fuse. This is another door. A sturdy door. So there's a there's a ladder behind the house. I think I need, I need that. Oh, I know what to do. 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 I gotta go get the umbrella. I can grab that hook with the umbrella. Aha! I'm a genius. Where did I leave that umbrella? I'll stay down here. All the way back down. What's up, Mom? Sub something metal into the fuse box, like a paper clip. <laughs> oh, you know, anytime your breaker trips, just pull it out and stick a good old-fashioned paper clip in there. It'll, it'll hold. Don't do that. Yeah, I'm gonna shimmy down the chimney. Shimmy down the chimney. Let's go do it. Stick my sister in the fuse box. Yes. Wabam. Let's go up here. Success. We did something. No, oh, that's not what I want. I want to read the story. Next time, more devious. Oh, she didn't die then either. These kids really suck at killing their parents. Loose floorboard. Okay, that, that's probably going to require a hammer. What's in here? Fuse box. Eh. I took it. Hey, Bunny Steel Stephanie, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you. Thank you for tuning in. Well, we don't need to stick my sister in the fuse box anymore because thankfully we have a fuse. So we can go downstairs. Wait, we don't need to go in there. So glad to see all of you guys joining in tonight and, and seeing us complete the cave because we're going to finish this sucker. We indeed are. We've just got the twins and the scientist. Yes. Mom, please stop your barking. You don't want to upset the twins like the last dog did. Bloop, would you two be dears and do fetch him his dog food? Where are we going? If those be twins quiet. don't feed that dog so it'll shut up, I'm going to... Well, I, I guess <laughs> I'll just keep complaining about it some more. As much as I'd like to help out, much like yourself, I'm more an observer of tonight's events. Empty chamber pot. Um, you're smarter than me? I'm not entirely sure. And yes, there there is always <laughs> there is always a way to put the um a reason to put your sister in the fuse box. I keep having to look this way now because I'm using Streamlabs OBS and I forgot to turn on chatty, so the chat is like way over there. So if I miss what you say, I apologize. I'm trying to pay attention and play a game at the same time. It is challenging. It really is. It's very difficult to do. Where am I going? Is this where the... No, dang on. 
What am I doing with this chamber pot? Like, I have it now, but I don't really know what my purpose with it is. We'll find out. There is supposed to be a bathroom somewhere. Where was that bathroom? You guys remember? It wasn't here. Yeah, just say it over and over again. It won't, it won't upset me. You'll be doing me a favor. There's the bathroom. It's up here. Got to climb the ladder. All right, now we got a bunch of water. And the whole goal here is we're trying to kill our parents. Ooh. She tisk tisks me. What am I supposed to do with this water? <laughs> this is a chamber. I don't know if that's what it is. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, WC Mitchell, for showing up and stopping by and saying hello. It's always mega appreciated. Oh, please stop your barking. You don't want to upset the twins like the last dog did. Would you two be dears and do fetch him his dog food? Okay, so I watered down the soup. So first... I wonder if I need, hmm, I wish I could call the dumb waiter. Oop, I not want to do that. Nope, put it back in there. <laughs> I don't know if I wanted to put the soup in the, or put the, the, the water in the soup. I don't feel like that was helpful. Boop. Oh, nice. <laughs> I might be going out on a limb here, but I don't think those kids are as sweet and innocent as their pasty white skin and vapid soulless eyes devoid of life would suggest. <laughs> I jumped on the bed and I got a steam achievement. That was awesome. I got an achievement for bouncing on the bed. Alright, let's get the water again. <laughs> Love me some achievements. And I gotta figure out, like, what do I do with this water? I have water. I think your dog would rather have some delicious. Oh my gosh, food. mom! Your father put it in the basement. You're so annoying. I know. <laughs> I know what the dog needs. What I need is to figure out what the purpose of this water is. It's a chamber pot, right? So you know I'd let you nah. go out and play, but your mom is almost ready with our supper. These seem like really caring, wonderful parents, which makes me even more sad that we killed them. Or what I'm gonna I'm gonna guess we killed them. I feel like that's what this is leaning towards. Can I dump this on your bed? No. Right? Yeah, that just seems like a lot of work. It's like having your washing machine on a different floor than your... Oh wait, let's, can we put this in Chuck the Plant? No, can't put this in Chuck the Plant. Like having your washing machine on different floors in your rooms. It's a lot of work. You gotta walk back and forth, up and down. I don't feel like there's anything up here. I mean, I guess I could bang that floorboard down. Can't go back here. Alright, so my only, my next guess is that we do something with that floorboard, which would mean we probably need the, the oh, oh, you're not wrong. It's interesting. Let's see what happens if we do that. I'm totally on board with your idea. It won't let me. <laughs> All right, let's go get the hammer that we left. I don't guess this... Yeah, it's just gonna have a switch it. Full chamber pot. Wonder if it matters that it's full. Chamber pots are used for going poo poo and pee pee in. Poo poo pee pee. Dad's up there. The whole goal is to get the key. 
Yeah, I know. It won't let me burn down anything. Gosh. Where's the hammer? Left it over here. Chamber pot. I wonder if I can put the hammer in the suit. So let me put everything else in there so far. Oh, please nah. stop your barking. You don't want to upset the twins like the last dog did. Oh wait, no, we can go up the easy way. I'm so dumb. We can go up the easy way. Gotta remember that I have that special ability. Alright, let's go bang on the floorboard to see what happens. I feel like we got through one thing. This this one's tough. This one's tough. Oh, you know what? Loose floorboard. We fixed it. You think we put the chamber pot on it and it like catapults it through the window? Maybe? That's the only other real item we have is the chamber pot. I can't break Chuck the plant. Can I pick up Chuck the plant? No. So the only other idea I have is we put the chamber pot on the board, but it wouldn't let me wouldn't let me do anything with it. Why would you put the chamber pot on a loose floorboard? All you think is it would catapult it somewhere, you know? I don't think I can... We know when we jump out the front door we die, so this, that's not gonna work. Dad's just obnoxious. That's the dog food. I don't know. Yeah, right? The storm is pretty weak. Fix the loose floorboard. I don't know why. I don't think I don't think that did anything. Cause now it won't let me actually call it out as anything. It's just it it's been fixed. I don't know what that means for anything. Alright, let's let's um let's push this box. Oh, you know what? I bet we do have to push this box. I thought it was just in the way of the floorboards, or in, in the way of the fuse box. Ouch! There goes the fine china. Aha! I thought it was just in the way of the fuse box we had to push it out of the way, but we put the floorboard down so we could do this. Like nab it. Down, 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 down. All right, let me keep pushing this. Yeah, keep going. I don't know where I'm taking you yet. Ooh, there goes the broken china. <laughs> We're just gonna keep going. <laughs> Alright, and that's raised, so it means we can't go that way. I'm picking up on it now. The clues were there all along, we just didn't see them. We are making a big mess. <laughs> this is fun. I really enjoy breaking the stuff. Keep on going down. Yeah. Okay. We're pushing it this way. I don't know why yet. Are you kids building a fort? 
so cute. What was that crash I heard upstairs? Oh, ha ha. Okay, then that goes up to two. I don't know what we're doing. Don't know what we're doing. Oh, that's the bathroom. I don't know what we're doing, but we're gonna see. Is this way? No, that's the way out. That's the way out. Let's go this way. And up. Bloop. Some, somehow this feels like it's above the second floor, but okay. Am I looking for a... I mean, surely I don't need it to go all the way up to three, or do I? What, what the devil? Maybe I do need it to go all the way up to three. But I don't know how to trigger the dumbwaiter from here. And if it went up to three, what would it do? Let's figure that out. Oh, it would let me out. Okay, so we do need it to go up to three. I don't know how it works. But we're gonna just pull the switch and see what what happens. Dang it! I keep going one too far. So let's do this. Let's pull it. Oh, please stop your barking. You don't and it's gonna go up to, to three. The twins, like the last All right, cool. Wish I'd known what I was doing ahead of time. Mom, shut up! I'm working on it. <laughs> Quit! Quit telling me what to do! starting to understand why the twins are all like ah let's get out of this place okay let's see did the box come up here it did we can get out oh <laughs> that was a mistake I'm gonna carry this chamber pot with me because reasons boy that was took a lot of work Climbing, climbing, climbing. Oh, now we're on the roof. Mmm, the smell of rotting sewage floating in the Thames. Thick industrial smoke choking the air, and horse manure piled high on every street corner. Ah, oh, it must be springtime in London. There, now we can go down and not burn alive. I think that was the point of the chamber pot. Good. Yeah, there's no, there's no roof pool. I make a Mary pool. Poppins joke right now, except that it's not in the public domain, and I don't want to get sued <laughs> again. All right, we did it. Got it. Now we can go get the dog food. Well, the twins have the run of the house now. <laughs> what kind of mischief will they get into next? See what's up here. Anything? Bookshelf. Look, I don't want to stereotype here, but has there ever been a set of twins that weren't evil? No. That should do the trick. Rat poison. Rat poison, okay. I don't know if that's a clue. All right, down we go. We're gonna go into the, the dog room burn the books. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's going to end up losing on this one. What is this way? We have now reached the grimmest part of our grim story. For that small box shoved into the corner is the ticket out of this house for the twins. Oh, no, Let's watch, shall we? <laughs> if you dare. Now I get it. Right. That's some grody sounding dog sounds. What's up here? Okay, that's that's the cave tour. 
So we've got to go back this way because it's going to involve something that helps us with the twins. This particular thing. We're going to go ahead and just check out under here and see if there's any secrets. There's always secrets. There's secrets. Secrets? No, no secrets. Because that's the time traveler. Oh, I get it. This is where we came through when we were the time traveler. This is where it let us out. We ran under the twins' house. Almost ready. Let's do it. We're going to poison our parents. Odd voice. Who's got the odd voice? Me or the narrator of the cave? Or the mom? Rat poison. <laughs> you know, if one were to examine this box of rat poison carefully, the instructions would read, One small thimbleful added to food will cause intense, horrifying, and excruciating <laughs> death. Side effects include tingling, blurred vision, occasional dryness of the mouth, and getting to go outside and play. Please stop your barking. You don't want to upset the twins, like the last dog did. Is the soup done, the soup Mommy? Is ready and it smells delightfully delicious. Why don't you two darlings go wash up for dinner? Don't take too long or we might start without you. <laughs> Doing as they're told? <laughs> the twins might be turning over a new leaf. <laughs> you see, this is why I never had kids. Well, that and being a cave with no real form of reproduction. But that's beside <laughs> the point. The point is, the twins... Well, I don't know if there is a point to their madness. But they may find their newfound freedom comes at a cost greater than they're capable of imagining. And as with the rest of our travelers, and perhaps even you, I guess only time will tell. Shall we continue our journey? It's been so enlightening thus far. Ooh, that was, I can't wait to see what happens next. That was super fun and really screwed up. But we did it. That's the time traveler. We can't go that way. We're going to continue this cave tour. That was awesome. That was, that was confusing for a little bit. But, like all things, you just figure it out, you know? Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and take the scientist because... The scientist is the last story we have to solve. Do, 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 do. Okay, that one stays. Cool, let's do it. Are we at the zoo part? Ah, the zoo, the zoo. Observe nature's wondrous and terrible beauty. Safely. <laughs> you aren't getting away this time, beast. <laughs> that literally this place me. is a nightmare. I hate zoos. No, I never like zoos. Never. <laughs> that totally scared me. Oh, did you guys see me jump? Sub, if you clip that, that would be awesome. Good lord. Beast Hunter Podcast, day 541. <laughs> the Crystal Cave Monster escaped again. She's still hungry, so I'm camped out near her favorite food. When I hear her shriek and roar, the hunt is on. Oh, blast. This worthless gizmo is out of batteries. Hey, who are you? Don't touch those hot dogs. I'll take it. I'm leaving. I know what to do. I think, if I remember right, hopefully it'll come back to me as we travel. I think that's the monk, right? Nope, that's something. That's the adventurer. Spikes and snakes and spikes. Why did it have to be snakes? The clip machine broke. What do you mean? Oh, look, she's safe after all. Surely there are no limits to the charity and altruism this pair can bring to the world now that they've been reunited. 
Oh, that's right. I need the battery for the tape recorder. Alright, let's get this. <laughs> Dude, it did. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, that's, uh, that sucks. We can't clip any of this stuff. Well, good thing I'm recording it. So, it'll be on the YouTube one way or the other. What's this way? Ooh, what's this way? Ah, more adventure secrets. A plan for revenge. Ah, oh, yeah. these three. I had high hopes when they first arrived, but you'd be surprised how useless a clown can be in a high-pressure life-and-death situation. I love this cave, man. Oop. Oh, the scientist. This is a the scientist thing. A multitude of offers. Our scientist is brilliant, everyone. Not sure what happened. That happened. I wonder if it stays that way. Oh no, I know what I need to do. We need to get that dead battery to the scientist. So. We're gonna have to bring the scientist back around. I think, or can the twins do it? I think the twins can do it. <laughs> you are right. We go down here? Is this the way? Yeah, this is the way. Alright, this is the part we get eaten. Good deal. Alright, grab the battery. And then... Pro tip, that battery probably needs a charge. Its owner hasn't had much chance to maintain it recently. Hey man, I know. I'm going to handle it. Because I remember how to charge it. Because I played this game a week ago. I like how the girl like stretches when she, she climbs. It's really weird. But okay. Okay. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty pumped about beginning the Grim Fandango playthrough next week. I'm pretty pumped. Not only that, I'm pumped because we are going to do a commentary playthrough. Which is pretty exciting. Top prize in science. Ooh, scientific top prize. There we go. Now we got a charge battery. Right? Well, it looks like that battery is all charged up now. Grim Vendingo is my all-time favorite adventure game. All-time favorite. Doesn't mean we're gonna walk through it. No, it's gonna be a a challenge as it always is. It'll be a fun one because we'll be listening to a lot of the commentary as we go along. All right, now we got a tape recorder. Now we just need to get eaten again. So let's take the scientist around this time. recording. Well, whatever else happens down here, our heroes could always consider careers as nature documentarians. <laughs> we have recorded the voice of the beast. Now let's go take care of this problem.
I think the lady, we gotta put it over here. Right, no? It's the base! Ha. And I'm here without a camera crew to document my triumph! Oh, no matter. Valor waits for no woman! <laughs> my hot dogs! All of that for a Frankfurter. Well, at least it's kosher. But is it? Is it Hebrew National? There's apparently a lot of uh, important instructions behind kosher meats. Whoop. I don't think you want him to catch you, you know. Enough. Take that. I suppose it's true what they say. If you want to make an omelet, you have to consign the last member of an ancient species to oblivion while destroying someone else's lifelong dreams and desires. Yep, that's what they say. Sweet. All right, we're in scientist puzzle land now. I know what you're thinking. I've tried to keep the cave a nuclear-free zone, but I don't have control over the darkness that lurks in the hearts of those who venture down here. Worry not. Someone would have to do something pretty stupid and careless to launch that thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not buying that either. Am I gonna launch a nuke? Clearly, this is a dead end. We might be spared nuclear Armageddon simply because someone forgot to put in a door. Let's hope laziness and apathy... Whoa! Now how did she figure that out? The scientist has certainly built up some elite hacking skills. Which, as I'm sure we're all about to find out, are not always used for good. Well, there's not much we can do now but sit back and watch the fireworks. And by fireworks, I mean a near instantaneous release of energy from a high-speed nuclear chain reaction of highly enriched weapons-grade uranium. Okay. This is intense. We're about to blow something up from the, from the sounds of it. Soon to be 100% parent-free. Oh, I accomplished that goal. Okay. We need that fuse. Oops. Someone went to Wikipedia. She got that blast door open without causing wanton havoc and senseless destruction after all. I might have misjudged her. Okay. Lower blast door is now open. Well, let's, uh, let's go down and see what we can do with that. Missile launch systems engaged. Missile boosters engaged. Insert warhead to commence launch. Insert guidance system to commence launch. Hmm, I fear nuclear missiles are like potato chips to her. She can't launch just one. I don't know what's going on. But I, so lower blast doors, what did that mean? Because I'm not entirely sure. 
Like, there, there's definitely some fire down here. There's a window. There's that guy. I wonder if I have to jump off the elevator. Launch pre-sequence initiated. Oh, now the open door's open. Area is restricted. Advise emergency procedure. Zero, four, five, one, Intruder! <laughs> Good lord, these people are horrible. Good news, everyone. I got one of the launch keys. I just burned that guy alive and took his key. Alright. One. Oh my, they're not doing what it looks like they're doing, are they? Administrator's terminal? I can't do anything with that yet? Okay, let's climb the ladder. <laughs> because of the missile... This, every, everyone in this segment would die the second the missile launched because of the alligators. Or, right, because of the alligators? All right, so to commence launch. I, I hit an HVAC button. I don't know if that's necessary yet. I don't even know if that's right. What? They really are making sure that I'm using the scientists by putting all these scientist-based things in my way. Missile coolant stable at minus 14 Celsius. Intruder, stay away from the console. Insert warhead to commence launch. Oh, I gotta get rid of that guy. Gotta get rid of that guy. Don't move or I'll shoot. Okay. Gotta get rid of that guy, too. Let's go down here, see what's... See what's Auxiliary see what's flame there. suppression pool is empty. There ain't nothing I can do in there. We can go down one more level, but we're gonna go over here and see what's up. Hot dog. Arcade machine. Okay, so HVAC is... Blowing out air that way. Intruder detected. This fragrance probably needs to be pulled in. Bulletin board, what's this? Launch menu. Please stop answering the emergency phone in a fake Russian accent. Stop eating all the bananas. Free paper strips. Willing to swap. Photonium replacement detail for tear gas refilling. Let me know by Thursday. Mr. Pickles is missing. Silo 24 rules. Cool. Well, world building. Let's keep going down. Keep going down. So there's a lab that way. We're going to go this way. Overflow in depth hole calculation register A3. can't grab the wet floor sign. Oh, you have to walk slowly. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Okay, we'll keep that. Deadly, deadly dynamite. Oh, today's special is pho. Fruit bowl. We got an apple now? Okay. Missile coolant stable at minus 14 Celsius. Oh. Let's drop this apple. Let's walk carefully. Because I've got an idea what to do with the wet floor sign that causes wet floors. Let's go back over this way first though. We want to make sure we've covered all our bases. Code button entry. That's knockout gas. Okay. It's coming to greed. Insert guidance system. Time to commence flash. <laughs> you gotta walk slow. Alright, there we go. We're gonna have to find that. <laughs> Every time I put that down. 
Incorrect code. Intrusion detected. Master entry code. Resetting. That's fine. You can reset all you want. I've got one job for this this thing. And that is to get this guy to hurt himself. Insert warhead to commence launch. <laughs> yes! I got another launch key. I should go ahead and go take that up so I don't have to run around with it. Oop, I guess I run up this way. That was so awesome. Alright, over here. Just put this in. Warning. Nope. They can't know what they're really about to do here. Okay, and I did change I changed the HVAC, but I don't know that I was supposed to. Oh, it changed back. Okay, well I'll just have to bring one of my friends over here. And they can control that thing. Administrator's terminal. Down we go! Attention. Tomorrow is bring your kid to work day. One more step, right, and I'll I need shoot! The, I need the knockout gas. I gotta drop, drop, drop. This is the way where the hot dog thing was, right? So does this have the code on it somewhere? the adventurer over here. Insert guidance system to commence launch. She can do the HVAC thing. Oh, the knockout gas is for that. Okay, I'm stupid. How do you know that? I was hoping there was a clue on here. But it doesn't appear there is. I don't know that that hot dog is useful. Insert guidance system to commence launch. This, it doesn't appear that there's anything I can control. Yeah, I gotta figure out what that code is. An apple. I don't know what the apple's for either. Missile thrusters idle at 14%. Looking at the things. Can't tell anything from that. Code entry. Why don't I just uh, do what Var said? Caution. He told me slippery when wet. Incorrect code. Okay. Intrusion detected. I say, don't just tell me the Master code. Master entry code resetting. Don't just tell me the code. So that's the break room. This is the loader for the guidance system. Nuclear war. Auxiliary flame suppression pool is empty. That sucks in the knockout gas. And so this goal, we're goal, our goal here is to get the knockout gas. What's up, McFly Flyers? Yeah, you missed me putting a wet floor sign <laughs> in the, on the floor and this guy falling because that was pretty awesome. <laughs> it was like. Stop! Intruder! Okay, so cool. Yeah, that's the knockout gas. Missile coolant idea. stable at minus 14 Celsius. What is the what is the code? It's gotta be in the administrator's computer, but how do I get <laughs> Oh, oh pff, right there. Password seven eight nine. 
Oh, geez, there's so many choices. Tuesday, Friday. What, what day, day is it? Oh, oh today. today. Okay, okay I'm gonna find, find out. Because today is fun day. day. So we're gonna go to the break room so we can look at the bulletin board. And find out what day they're serving pho. Pho is Saturday, so today is Saturday. Unless it changes when you screw up. Is there a lot of echo? Saturday, 8025. Really? That I don't hear it. That's upsetting. I don't know what to do about it. Did it just start? Dang it, you guys made me forget what the code was. Incorrect code. Intrusion detected. Master entry code. Resetting. Well, that sucks. Hold on. I don't know where that could be coming from. And that, that just started? Wait, hold on. Where would it be coming from? Not here. Is it still happening? Because that doesn't make... Any, like, I can't hear it at all. Is it still there? Okay, I might, um, I might kill the stream and start it back up, because it's, it's not, I've got nothing indicating there's any more sound coming out than just my voice. Oh, it's good now? I didn't touch anything. I literally didn't do anything. Okay... Must have been Twitch, dude. There, I didn't, I didn't touch anything. Okay. Missile coolant stable at minus fourteen Celsius. Boy, that's obnoxious. Twitch is really glitching on us tonight, isn't it? No clips. All right, what was it? Saturday, nine one two six. 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 Well, now I'm, now it's nine one two six. Don't tell me more. Auxiliary don't tell me more things. Nine one two six. Nine one two six. Nine. Nine. One. Two. No, see, I remembered. Code accepted. The door is now open. Knockout gas. Let's go. Let's go. Show that guy what what uh what we're made of. Shoot me. I am the right code. <laughs> Sub, you're the best, dude. Bloop. Ah. Oh, good. That was unfortunate. Okay. Intruder detected. There we go. Yeah, baby. We did it. Come with me. <laughs> they were guarding a chimp. Oh, I need the apple. Insert guidance system to commence launch. We'll go put this in. Oh, the guidance system is the monkey? That makes sense. Alright, all three now keys. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Yeah, I read that somewhere. Seems appropriate. I love that we're a team here at Two Dorks and that anytime something goes wrong and one of us is watching, like, 
Ashley texts me. Is complete. You're echoing. And then she's like, all good now. Y'all are the best. All right, let's get our fruit. Wait, that's a pear. Hang on, monkey. Here's a banana. There we go. Bananas. Yeah, that quote's pretty Danger. powerful. Security safeguards have been overridden. It was basically like, hey, um, I built a thing and I instantly regret that I now know how to do it. Come on, monkey. Follow me. Oh. Insert guidance system to commence launch. Come on. Come on. No, oh, he's following me. Okay. I was about to say that's annoying. Come on. Follow me down here. Come Global on, monkey. Target acquisition phase complete. This is an old monkey island trick. Come on. No, don't, don't, don't press that button. Come on, monkey. Come on, monkey. <laughs> Upper hatch disengaged at T minus twenty seven. Come on. Come on, monkey. I got bananas. It's like I can't I can't touch him. Oh, can I can I do that? Missile coolant stable oh, come on. at minus 14 Celsius. Maybe he'll follow me? There he goes. Okay, jeez. Insert Monkey. guidance system to commence launch. Yeah, come on. Insert guidance system to commence launch. <laughs> You're right. Launch. Thank you. Get in there. Perfect. System installed. It's a, it's a chimp. Missile I know. Thank launch. you. Missile is ready. Let's do it. It's only been burning Insert fuel for the past 20 minutes. Keys. Launch key engaged. Launch key engaged. All systems go. Launch in T minus five, four, three. Booster harness decoupled. Cool. One. Nuclear missile launch commenced. Estimated death toll is 100 million, with an error margin of 2 million. Please wash hands after launching missile. Oh, that's so sad. Good news, everyone. We lost the missile. We just witnessed may seem like horrific and pointless destruction, but if you step back and take in the big picture, you will surely see that the lives of a hundred million people pale in comparison to being able to spelunk a little further. <laughs> <laughs> What's done is done. Oh, geez. Okay. And we'll continue the tour. Swoo! So, and this is the monk, we're, which we're not going to do, because um, playing through this game twice is fun. Playing through three times is a little much. So, we're going to play these characters through until I'm sleepy. And then we're going to just play Grim Fandango next week. A rich source. So, just so we're all on the same page. Both, all three of these stories were awesome, though. I'm really glad we did this.
Now we sail. Were all you guys here hey, last time we did this? Any sea shanties? 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. Oh, that's more a bar song than a sea shanty. Ooh, I've got one. 99 bottles of rum on the wall, 99 bottles of rum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I added a game uh, to the list of, uh, of games we're going to play on the Adventures of Steven, and that game is Zack McCracken. In the alien mind benders. I'm rescued. So, uh. Um, Shut up. After years on this blasted island. Today, that'll be coming soon, I too. I can finally leave. Finally leave. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm going to go collect my stuff and get my beloved dog Spanky so we can skedaddle. Beloved dog. Shut up. Well, from stuck in a cave to marooned on an island stuck in a cave. Things aren't exactly looking up for our friends now, are they? <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> it's such a screwed up cave. We're going to go ahead and push it. We know what we have to do. We're going to push everybody off a cliff. No, that's not what we're going to do. Oh, are they getting out of the way? Oh, that's awesome. All right, adventurer, you first. Dream take F7. Shabloop. I know what that's gonna be. I think I come up here. We've played this not when too long ago. When you get that boat of yours to the other side of the island, give me a shout. I'll join you for the big rescue. Big rescue. Shut. The military's unlimited uh, budget. Much sure how to break into that adorable old hermit, but their boat only seats three people. Might I suggest to our three friends that they move the boat across ah. the island very quietly? Ah. Keep pressing the button. Shut up! <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. Alright, moving along. Let's hop up here and see if we can go cause any trouble. I think I needed this cross pipe before. Don't die. <laughs> you did. Yeah, because the straight pipe goes down there. So let's see. Do, 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 do. Maybe I do need the straight pipe for this. Ah, oh, crap. There's something I can jump on over here. Yep. Yep. We're going to need the straight pipe. Shouldn't have swapped it out. Oh, no. I didn't want it. Oh, shoot. There we go. <laughs> Stardew Valley. We can always take a uh, Adventures of Steven break and play some, play a little bit of Stardew. Wouldn't be, I wouldn't be against it. Just it would become Tuesday night Stardew night because I'm obsessive with that game. Obsessive. It's dangerous for me, for my family, for everybody. It's quite, quite horrifying. King takes F. When you get that boat of yours to the other side of the island, give me a shout. And I'll join you for the big rescue. Big rescue! Shut up! Shut up! I've been playing a lot of Stardew on the Switch. It's crazy. It's worse because Stephanie likes it, so she'll be like, Hey, hey, you gonna play Star Stardew Valley tonight? Because you should, you should totally play Stardew Valley tonight. I'm like, God dang, nabbit. Alright, this is the thing. Yeah, okay. I think we're gonna need the adventurer for some of this. Let's climb up here. Oh, yeah, we need the cross pipe. So the adventurer can bring it because she's got it right here. Oh, yeah, this, this, the controls on the Switch are fine. They're, they're really good. I mean, you get a little bit more, uh, capability of, of fine-tuning with the PC and the save game save times on the switch are just awful it takes forever to move from day to day forced to eat no I don't think so oh maybe the kids oh did the kids have to eat it so they killed their parents and their selves oh that's terrible 
twins are jacked up, dude. Let's see, let's follow this back. Swoop, bam, all right. We got it. Let's get this boat moving. Oh, I gotta hold it. Can I push it? Oh, shoot. You always, you always die when you do that. Did I pull it to get it over there? Yeah. Drag it up there. <laughs> that's that's actually pretty true, McFly. Totally true. And into the water you go. And I think wondering how this was going to work because the first time he used the knight and he had that invincibility. Oh dang. Okay. Climbing back up. Climbing up. Oh, nope. That's not going to work. Glad Var keeps us posted on all of his uh, hygiene. You know, it's important to know. I love you, Var. Oh, is it Sub's uh, Dorkiversary today? Gosh, congrats, Sub. You're the best, man. Thank you for tuning in and hanging out with us for a year. Holy crap. Not only that, but becoming a major cornerstone in our community. Uh, you are a, you are a huge part of what keeps the two dorks ticking. And man, so glad you decided to stick with us. I'll get that femur in a minute. This puzzle killed me last time. I think Zapho was helping me work through it. it. Took me forever to figure it out. But not no mo. Since I've done it a couple times. I can't believe Sub's been hanging out with us for a year. I can't believe it's a year since we we really kicked off this thing with uh, the Dungeon Boss streams. Like that, that was huge. Ashley was doing Dungeon Boss every day. Almost every day, like three days a week or something like that. Pretty significant amount of streaming coming from Smash. close enough. Yeah, go get it. Oh, sweet, you're right. <clears throat> if it's during H&H, &H, we can really talk about how awesome you are. <laughs> Wouldn't be a Ron Gilbert game without pirates, would it? You miscounted! You shall never be forgiven! Three hour tour! <laughs> Who's a good dog? Ah. Tanks.
moving right along. We're getting our boat across this thing. Should probably let the adventure get out of the way. Better go get that too. We need that secret. Not so much a secret, but it is important to me. Waiting for the right moment. These are horrible people. <laughs> They're like everybody in this game is horrible. I think I need it for the dog, don't I? I don't know, we're gonna hang on to it. I feel like I need it. Just let the scientists go floating up. Whee! I'm finally getting off this island. <laughs> I think I've got everything I need. Shove off any time. I knew he was going to be trouble. Right here yep. in Island City. Trouble with a capital T, which rhymes with P, which stands for he Hermit. Uh, hmm. Okay, <laughs> that didn't quite work. But he's still trouble. Trouble with a capital H, which stands for Hermit. Ha. There, much better. This cave, he's witty. I thought I needed the femur, but I don't. Because I just need this, uh, this deal here. It's crackers. We gotta go get the parrot, and the parrot is down here. Nice move. I got crackers. Come land on my shoulder. Let's do this. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, wait, I do need the femur. I know what the femur's gotta do. I know what the femur's for. We'll just run back up the island. It's just as easy. <laughs> Dude, sub, that is amazing. I'm glad I'm not the only one who spells it T-H-R-O-U-B-L-E. Uh, every time I spell trouble, I, uh, I think of the Travis Tritt song, Trouble. Y'all might know it if you're into country. I'm not really into country anymore. See, this makes the hermit remember he left his parrot, and then we can all get out of here. I forgot my dog! You wait here, and I'll be back in a flash. Don't leave without us! Spanky gets his own seat, so someone will need to swim. No, no wonder this guy got stuck here. He's kind of annoying. Like, just assuming you can get on our boat telling other people they've got to get out of the way. We brought the boat. Oh, no, no, no. I, this is a new femur. I picked it up on the pirate. This is an entirely new bone. Oh, thank goodness. Now we're off. I'm no lawyer, but maritime law clearly allows for the abandonment of annoying hermits. And really, the stranding of a lone hermit pales in comparison to what we've seen from these three so far. <laughs> I do <laughs> wonder if any lessons have yeah, been I think learned that's what this evening. Maybe You're right. you and me, but I fear not by them. Well, we shall see soon enough. I feel like this needs like more intense music. It probably doesn't. Oh, crap. Splash. Alright, y'all stay there and drowned. We're gonna go talk to this dude. 
Well, you took long enough. I was gonna send out the search party, but they're still looking for the last group. You didn't happen to run into an annoying clown, did you? That doesn't matter. Yes, we, we did. just got a new shipment of trinkets he that should satisfy your every desire. But I can't give them to you without suitable replacements. So, take this giant novelty size key, again, and open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. Let's see what- we'll Close at five, so uh, you might want to get a move on it. <laughs> Obnoxious. Let's see what we get, because last time, remember, we got the, uh, the sword, the pink teddy bear, and the employee of the month club. Let's see what we find now. Okay, get off. <laughs> oh, I don't have to hit any of that stuff. Can we just go... Go down? No? Can I run this way? to do any of this? About to find out. Because everything's pretty much destroyed or something. I don't remember the back looking like that. Yeah, this is nothing. Bloop. Because we don't have that, that beast isn't here anymore. So we can just skip on past it. No puzzle solving, just a bunch of running. Whee! Oop. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Good thing there's no dying in the cave. There's just lots of lava. Oh, yeah, the gold nugget we took from him. Let's see. Have her go back. You don't need the box of crackers. Is there anything down here? I can't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, because this was the dynamite stuff. We took that man's golden nugget. Swim as fast as you can. We took her monster trophy. Taking from people. That's clearly hers. I also don't need this femur. And we're taking his dog. I remember that now. Oh, yeah, if we took his chicken nugget, what? how horrible would that have been? there. She must have just taken one of the spikes off the monster. <laughs> Dude, it's never a great time to invest. But I mean, it totally did crash, that's for sure. I got a whole bunch of random goofy coins. They all just poop their pants. Buy the dips, they say. What killed the dog? What? No. I think Ash is feeling better. Which means she will be on Horseshoes and Hand Grenades Thursday. Yay! Smashy! And we're also very, very, very happy she's happy. And feeling better. Doing good. She had the super, super death butt funk. Here's your thing. What a fabulous replacement trinket. Oh, that will do just fine. Taking the thing someone else desires most was a stroke of genius. Enjoy. I got my bag of money. I 
I took something from someone else to get my big bag of money. Man, it's a long way up this ladder. Unimaginable wealth. Let's hope she's happy. Oh, that is very nice. Hey, it's not stealing if they didn't see you take it. Am I right? There you go. The trophy that I wanted. I took that man's dog in order to get the trophy I wanted. There is certainly a, uh, a metaphor for something in this in this in this game we're playing there's a nugget of truth hidden amongst me taking other people's stuff pesky partners eliminated and then finally the golden You've nugget done yourself on this one i don't think its rightful owner will miss it much enjoy i'll take this rat poison like california split in two states what happened I kept sinking down and then realized that my chin was off screen. So at one point I was just like, oh, blah, 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 blah. that's okay. Also, there's like a shadow behind me. I gotta fix that. Has that been doing that the whole time? Nobody told me. Okay, good. You're looking into it. And we're done. We've made it out. Oh, you know why it's doing that? I forgot to turn the lights on in here. So my shadow is way more defined. I don't... I'm not going to worry about it now. We're at the end. <laughs> well, you might think of this evening as a failure. But it was not. True, our friends did not learn the lessons they were meant to. They are destined to choose a path that can lead only to misery and disappointment. Not to mention a few lawsuits and possibly an embarrassing reality TV show. But I know you will leave here tonight with a new perspective on the choices to come. Someday, you yourself shall explore my mysterious depths. And when we meet again on that journey, I am confident you will make the right decisions. Because I am the cave. That was once again an awesome playthrough. I had a lot of fun with all three of those stories. I didn't have enough fun that I would want to play two of the same ones again just to do the monk. So, hey, we did we did pretty darn good. Really? Like, we finished right at 10 o'clock. That's usually the time we try to start winding down. Which means we are well on our way to Grim Fandango. And I want to tell you one thing. It's important. It's funny. I've, I've watched uh, this double fine adventure so many times some of these names I recognize because they're people that helped make Broken Age which is what this is about double fine adventure if you are in and I'd say this a lot but it's because it's one of the greatest documentaries I've ever watched in my life if you're into watching anything get created like from the ground up this is an amazing documentary about the creation of Broken Age you can watch it on YouTube totally free um Double Fine has it the whole series posted. It's like 20 episodes of amazing. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people that worked on Adventure or were in this documentary work at Double Fine, which is where the cave was made. And just where I got this shirt. You can't see it, but it's a Double Fine shirt. It's awesome. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna we are gonna exit the cave. Oops. Welcome. Don't let my soul no. tree in mysterious. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. I want to exit the cave. What am I? What? What? No. Save and exit. That was awesome. It was fantastic. And I want to leave before we go. I want you guys to know what you're in for. So tune in for just a moment, if you would. <laughs> Buenos dias.
That's right. We are going to be playing a Grim Fandango, and it is going to be everything you ever dreamed is going to be so much fun. Dude, this game is my favorite game ever. The story's amazing. We're going to go on a four-year journey through the land of the dead. We are going to stop off at incredible destinations that you're not going to forget. We're going to have jobs that are going to change the landscape of the land of the dead. We're going to unravel a mystery of why certain people keep getting number nine tickets on the number nine train. Golden tickets takes you takes you to the end of your journey in four hours instead of four days, but we can only seem to sell bullcrap travel packages. It is one of my favorite games in the whole world. It is it's great. It's fun. You guys are going to love it. We're going to watch it with the commentary because why not? You know, why not? Why not learn about the game we're playing with? And, and I've played it so many times. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be very interesting and exciting for everybody. Um, so that's going to be starting next Tuesday at 830 Eastern. Uh, I'm pumped about it. I can't wait to play it. I've been putting it off because I didn't want to play it too soon after playing it before. Uh, but I think I've forgotten enough. So we're going to have a great time. You guys are amazing. Thank you for hanging out for The Cave. Uh, it was a wonderful game. If you enjoyed it, just tweet at, at, a, at Grumpy Gamer and tell him you watched, you watched me stream the, uh, stream the cave. And it was super fun and you can't wait to play it either. That's what I, that's what I would like you to do. Uh, Ron Gilbert doesn't use Twitter anymore because he said it's a dumpster fire of disaster, which I, I can't help but agree with him. But he's still Grumpy Gamer. You can always tweet at him anyway. You guys are awesome. Uh, tune in on Thursday for Horseshoes and Hand Grenades at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, and uh, me and Ashley will make you laugh. We will make you cry. We will make you have a great night and uh, remember how quality your life is as we tell the stories of people who have gone through stupid stupid accidents and other things. It's a weird, weird nod news. It's going to be great. You guys are cool. Um, that's it, man. That's it. That's all I got. Subscribe if you got those Bezos bucks. Subscribe to the channel. Tip us if you like what we do. Uh, TwoDorks.net slash tip. Uh, you can send us some cash money. We'd appreciate that. And your cheer bits are always appreciated. You guys are great. We'll see you next time on The Adventures of Steven.